The Plumbing and HVAC Internet Marketing Show. Discover how to market your plumbing or HVAC business online. From SEO and PPC to Google Maps, reputation management, and social media marketing, we share the ideas and strategies to get your phone ringing, trucks running, and business booming. All right, well, welcome. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. I'm super excited about today's topic. Uh, we're going to be talking all about how to leverage video in your plumbing or HVAC business. And, uh, you know, video is one of those things I, I personally have a passion for. Um, I, I use video a lot in our business. I leverage video a lot for our clients and have seen great results with it. And a lot of times when we think about home services, we think about plumbing, we think about HVAC, we think about electrical, um, and it's kind of like, how would I even use video? Who, who would want to sit and watch a video about my HVAC related services? And uh, I'm going to kind of change your thinking around that. Um, I'm going to change your, your thought process around the types of videos you should shoot, why you should shoot video, and then more importantly, tactically, how you can use the video once you have it shot to get maximum impact, right? Maximum results. So you're in the right place. I'm super excited to have you with me. Um, you know, this, this video training uh, is part of our overall digital dominance method, which we've been unpacking uh, throughout the course of 2018, uh, taking you through the digital dominance method from you know, one through eight, how to set up your website and get ranked organically, leverage paid search, leverage retargeting, tap into some of the paid online directory services, leverage email and social media to drive more repeat and referral business, um, you know, paying attention to the important paper lead services, and all the way through to, to having some type of repeat and referral system in place to get more of your one-time customers to be repeat buyers that use you again and again. And today, I'm going deep on a phase one topic, which is really how to optimize for conversion, right? We talked all around how to set up your website, make sure that when someone gets there, they, they know, like, and trust you, and they, they have a reason to choose you versus the competition. And I found that video and multimedia is really one of the strongest things you can do along those lines to improve your conversion rates. So it has a piece there, and it also has to do with SEO, right? Because if we create great video content, we'll have more links, uh, it will impact our on-page you know, on factors in, in regards to how long someone stays and how quickly they bounce. And so you know, this topic on video, just remember it's part of the big picture, and really this is where it fits in to your overall digital dominance method. So here's what we're going to talk about today and what you're going to discover. Uh, first, I'm going to talk about why video is so important and why it should really be part of your overall internet marketing strategy. Uh, then I'm going to talk about how to develop and put a marketing video marketing strategy in place. So what types of videos you should shoot, how you can create them, even if you don't want to go out and hire a, a high-priced video team, even if you want to do it either on your own or potentially if you want to hire a company like Swick or like ourselves or other multimedia companies how to kind of make sure that they get the type of shots or the type of content that you need, and then what to do with your video. So many people think, okay, I'll create video, and maybe they even have fun with it, but they don't know how to leverage it in a way that's going to get them more eyeballs, get more like and trust from their prospects, and ultimately drive more quality business into their plumbing or HVAC companies. So that's what we're going to cover on today's call. It's a packed session. Again, I'm really pumped about it. So let's start with why. Really, we have to think about why we do anything before we waste time, energy, and focus on it. So the number one reason to use video in your plumbing or HVAC business is because it can increase the exposure for your company. It can increase the exposure in the search engines by giving you more placeholders where the people are searching. I'll kind of unpack that for you. Um, it can enhance your SEO efforts by giving visitors a reason to stay on the page and by helping to drive more links for you. And it can improve the conversion rate from visitor to caller, right? We get people visiting our site every single day from SEO, from pay-per-click, from social media, from all of the different marketing that we do. Anything we can do that can even slightly improve the conversion rate from visitor to caller can have a massive impact on the return on all of the other advertising we do. And we found that this is a great leverage point that you can put some video on certain pages of your site that will improve the conversion rate and make everything else work so much better. So really that's why video is so powerful. So let's start with it increases the exposure in the search results. You know, this is more of a tactical, you know, nerdy type of reason, but for me, 
you know, knowing that your video can show up in search as an image in the search results for certain key terms um, is powerful, right? We want to show up all of the places that our customers are looking when they need our services. And so if we can show up organically with a, like a search result, if we can show up in paid search, if we can show up on the map listings, if we can show up with the video snippet, now we can, we can start to dominate the page for certain high important terms. I'm going to show you some examples of that. And you can obtain multiple page one placements, which is really a powerful concept. So I'll show some visuals and I'll actually run an actual search. That way you guys can see what I'm talking about. But you know, right now if we type Orlando repiping, which is kind of a, you know, a higher cost service uh, that, that somebody might provide, we've got the search result and then we've got a video ad that, or a video that's actually showing up in the search results. And you can own multiple placements. So he's got his homepage showing up. You know, this is Shamrock Plumbing in Orlando. His homepage showing up, his repipe page showing up, and his video page, uh, his video showing up on page one. So doing this can give you more placeholders for the higher value terms, right? So, you know, are you going to show up necessarily when someone types in plumber in your city? Probably not, right? But for like repiping, um, torrential sewer replacement, some of the more specific services that are higher transaction value, there, this can this can be really powerful. And so I'll show you an example of this. How many of you guys do do trenchless at some level? Um, trenchless sewer replacement, trenchless sewer relining. Uh, this is a high transaction service that usually when somebody needs it, um, you know they they are told, hey, you got to go um, do this, and they search a little bit, and they know they're going to spend some money to get this done. So I just want to show you an example. If we go to Google right now in a massive market of, of Houston, Texas. So I'm just going to Google in Houston, uh, Houston trenchless sewer repair. And when we run this search, this is an illustration of what I'm talking about, right? Why you want to create some of these specific videos, but also some of these long tail videos. Um, we've got picket plumbing coming up in the organic search, and this is their trenchless sewer replacement page on their site. But then there's also a video of them coming up on this on this uh, search result, and it's a cool video where um, Kevin Pickett is explaining what trenchless is, and it's got like some action shots of that happening in the field. I won't spend a ton of time on this, but just so you guys get the idea. Picket Plumbing. We're in Houston, Texas today where we're using our trenchless technology and I'm going to walk you through it and see how that process is done. All right, right now we're pulling the pipe through the old sewer line. There's a cone-shaped head on the end of it that's attached to a cable that we ran through. So I'm not going to play the whole video. I just want you guys to get the idea. Um, Deb says, yes, we do trenchless. So think about some of your higher transaction value services. Trenchless, uh, if you're HVAC, indoor, indoor air quality, maybe, maybe geothermal systems. It's worth investing in some high quality video content that you can create. And then I'm going to show you guys how to tag the video, how to you know create some authority for the video so that it can show up in search. I just want to ask, what would it mean to you and how would you like to show up for your main key term, both organically and with an image sort of like this? Do you feel like that would make you stand out a little bit, give you a higher probability chance of getting the click? And, and ultimately, higher chance of getting the, the call. So you just kind of put it in comments here. Let me know, would that be would that be useful? Would that be beneficial? Okay, I've got a couple of yeps. Absolutely, of course. So again, this is why video is important, right? It's, if you've got the option to choose to click as a consumer, a, a normal listing or a video-based listing like that, a lot of times that stands out. You know, it makes you want to choose to click on that versus the, the alternative options. The other big thing with, with video is, again, that it, it enhances your SEO efforts. And we're all focused on making sure we show up on page one for you know, our main keywords, right? And we know if we've got the right website with you know good, good title tag, good H1 tag, good content, um, we have a placeholder, but ultimately it's, it's the user experience and it's the, it's the links and citations and social proof that a page has that determines whether it ranks on the first page or the fifth page. And if we're not ranking on the first page in the first you know, five or six results, we basically don't exist. So 
one of the nice things we can do with video is we can drive links back from high quality traffic sources to, to our website, to our homepage, to our service pages, to our city pages. And we do that by creating the video content, uploading it to like YouTube, uploading it to Vimeo, uploading it to Facebook, uploading it to other social profiles, and then hyperlinking back to the, to the homepage, back to the service pages on our site. The other thing that, that video does is, is it lowers our bounce rate. And this is kind of a, uh, a nerdy term again, but if you look at analytics, Google Analytics, and you look at, you know, here's how much visitors I got to the website. And one of the things that Google shows you is your bounce rate, which is how quickly is somebody getting to your website and hitting the back button. And if you've got a high bounce rate from a user experience perspective, Google raises that as a red flag. This may not have been a relevant result for the thing that they typed in. So whatever we can do to get someone to scroll down, to stay on the page for an extra couple seconds, um, will reduce our bounce rate. And by reducing our bounce rate, we will improve the probability that Google sees us as a quality result. And the more that we get those types of quality results, Google says, okay, I wanna serve this website for these search terms. So having video, of course, they get to the page, and they get an opportunity to play a video, even if they only watch 10 seconds, which most people only watch about 10 seconds of any given video, um, we've reduced our bounce rate and we've improved our time on site, which is another SEO factor. How long is somebody staying when they get to your page? So by leveraging video and having video, not just like a welcome video, but a video for each of our services and videos that answer important questions that a customer might have and or showing an experience of what that service is gonna look like and how it's gonna feel, we're gonna improve the amount of time on site, which will naturally improve our, our SEO results. So just some examples, right? When we post a video up on YouTube, in the description, we have the ability to, take, to type what the video is about, and then we can hyperlink, as long as we use the HTTP colon slash slash, it's a clickable, followable link back to the website. Now, in a lot of cases, this is no follow, and you know, traditionally SEO link building was about I want only yes follow links. Well, the fact is the spiders are picking up links from social sites like Facebook and Twitter, and they are picking up links from YouTube and sites like that. So even if it's no follow, this provides context and it provides value to the pages that you link back to. So that's why you wanna be creating this type of video. And so here's a video that you would upload onto, onto Facebook, right? You upload the video, you type a description, you've got a hyperlink going back to the page. And by doing that, you're passing quality links back to the site. Now, in addition to that, you're also able to improve conversion. And this is probably the strongest reason for video. Um, the SEO stuff is useful and beneficial, yes, but really, Whatever we can do to improve conversion, again, has a massive impact. And so video resonates with people, especially if you create authentic style video, which is what I'm gonna recommend. Um, they get to see the person behind the company. They get to see the people that are gonna come out to their home and they get to know, like, and trust before they call, right? That's what they always say, right? The, the number one reason somebody's gonna choose you versus the competition is because they feel like, or they do, know, like, and trust you. So when you've got video, and I'm talking about video of you, the owner, some representative of your company, welcoming them, answering their questions, showing them what you do and how you do it, they get a chance to be like, okay, this is a quality company. They know what they're talking about. They seem like nice people, the kind of people I want in my home. And for, for whatever reason, it, it, it connects with people and it connects on different modalities, right? Some people like to read. So you get to a web page and you're kind of scrolling through it you read, you get a little bit of information. Um, some people like to view and they like to see, they like pictures, they like videos, they like to watch a video. And so it can resonate with the people that aren't necessarily the reading style, but more of the, more of the watching style. So in, without question, uh, multimedia and video on your site can really improve conversion rate. And so what I'm talking about here is like, so when somebody gets to your website, instead of just seeing text, they've got the option to play a video and to hear from you or for somebody on your team. And so I wanna share with you guys some examples of what this looks like in the real world. That way you can, you can emulate this and you can do something similar in your, in your business. So I'm gonna be sending the slides after the fact so you can go back and look at some of this stuff closer. But I'm just gonna play a couple examples.
That way you guys can see it, you can experience it. So if we go to, we're looking for a plumber in downtown Pennsylvania. Um, one of the companies we work with is, is Schuler Services. And of course we only work with one company in each major market, so um, didn't want to mince words there. But So let's go to Schuler Service and we'll pull up their, their website. And a couple, you know, a couple things will stand out to you. Um, you know, we've got pictures with authenticity. We've got what we call a video header. So this is actually video playing um, without sound automatically in the background on the page. We found this can be really effective because it, 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 it resonates differently than, than a static image. Uh, but we've also got video right on the homepage. So when we get here, we can play a video and hear from the owner. So I'm just going to play this the way you can hear it and think what a welcome video could be. Hey, welcome to our website. If you're on this page, you're probably having an issue with your home's plumbing and in need of a solution. You've come to the right place. I'm Greg Joyce, the owner of Shula Service. We've all experienced a plumbing emergency at one time or the other, whether it's a bursted pipe, clogged drain, or a water heater problem. They've always seemed to arrive at the worst possible time. We've been serving the Lehigh Valley since 1923 and stand by a long tradition of making our customers happy by showing up on time, respecting your home, and providing you with upfront, no obligation pricing. Some of the more common plumbing issues we deal with every day are dripping faucets, slow water pressure, running toilets, leaky pipes, slow or clogged drains, and we even do full bathroom remodels. We understand the inconveniences and hassles a plumbing problem can cause. When you call us, you can expect same day service, upfront pricing, and licensed plumbers with decades of experience. Give us a call today at 610-434-7103 for fast, same-day solutions. Service may be our last name, but it's our first priority. We look forward to serving you. So I think you can see having like a, at least the option for them to hear from the owner or a representative of the company will resonate with them and give them a reason to contact you versus the competition. You can see this website converts extremely well. And for years we ran with no video. We got video onto the site. Uh, Greg Joyce, who's the owner uh, on video, does not like to be on camera. And uh, Greg will tell you he, he's not comfortable doing it, but it has had a massive impact on the conversion rate on their website. So there, there's one example. I'm not gonna play all these videos all of the way through, but I do want you to get the idea that when you put this type of video on your site, it will, um, it will work well and it will also kind of give you, you know, give you a, a competitive edge versus the competition. So this is AAA Modern Air. They're a Fort Lauderdale based um, HVAC company. So again, we got the video header going on and um, it, it works well for that experiential process, right? And then if we get into the, to the service pages on their site, hopefully we're not getting too much of a lag here. My internet speed needs to be tightened up. We've got the um, you know the videos on the internal page, which really which really even help with that conversion even better. So one more example again, this is just to give you guys the idea and really get the concept of why having this video would help with conversion, right? Because they give the you giving the customer the option to play a video and to engage. So here we are on Picket. We've got the rolling video. We've got the welcome from, in this case, one of the technicians or the service manager. I'm not gonna play this whole video, but so also like when we go to the service here, uh, pages on this site, not necessarily all of them, but for the majority, like emergency, there's a video that they can play. And so this kind of plays synergistically, right? You've got a page on the site with great content. There's video there. It answers the questions. It creates a better experience for the customer but it also helps drive links back to that particular page on the site and it helps to build the, the conversion rate, of course, because you've given the customer the opportunity to engage at a, at a higher level, which, which absolutely helps with conversion. So I wanna hear, hear from you guys. We've talked a little bit about the benefits of video, how it helps with conversion, how it helps with SEO. What's been most useful so far? that you can implement in your plumbing or HVAC business. Would love to hear from you guys in the chat on this. Now, the only other thing I wanted to share from a like how you can leverage video perspective before we dive into the how-to is you can, you can use video as a 
as a header on your, your Facebook newsfeed as well. So inside Facebook, you have the option to have a static graphic or a video-based graphic. And so just imagine a customer browsing through their, you know, through their feed and then hitting your site and then landing on a video-based header like this. Um, you know, it's, it's just a, it's something that most plumbing HVAC companies wouldn't have and something that, that I highly recommend. If, you, if you've got video done and you've got something that kind of tells a story um, in, the, in, in the, the clips that are used, uh, by all means, you should tap into that. And just know one thing else with this, I just wanted to show you that it's possible and it can be set up to, to be done in that, in that way on your Facebook page. All right, so let's talk about how to leverage video. We've, we've heard about the benefits, we've seen some examples. So let's, let's dive into the how-to and how you can execute and implement this in your, in your business. Uh, first of all, there's really two types of videos you know, that you could do. You can do higher produced videos, uh, like some of the ones I showed you where you have a team come out and they set up a bunch of different shots and they have you speak to the camera and you create videos. That's one way. Nothing wrong with that. There's companies that specialize in that. It's something that we can do for you. It's something that SWIC Media does really well. There's lots of other companies that, that do this type of thing. Um, but in, in the plumbing HVAC space that really understand the industry and the strategy, probably us and SWIC Media are your two best options. Um, but the other is to create your own types of videos, right? You have the technology. If you've got a, a smartphone, which all of you have, probably all your techs have too, um, you've got a smartphone, you've got a tablet, you really have everything you need to create good enough video that you can start to build this authority on your website, on your social profiles, especially Facebook, and, um, and on YouTube. So what I'm going to suggest is create simple videos about your company, your services, and the frequently asked questions that you get. Post them up to YouTube, post them up primarily to your uh, Facebook page, and then syndicate them across the web and to other social media profiles. So I'll kind of unpack that a little bit. Um, when you create your videos, make sure they're simple, but most importantly, make sure that they're personal. Um, you know, what I don't want you to do, and I don't have any problem with it, but cartoon videos, stock animation videos, aren't necessarily as impactful as the real video of the owner, the technicians, the team, speaking to the camera, showing what they do, showing their difference. And really, I like that. Be to the point and really just don't overthink it. A lot of times when we talk video, people are like, oh man, I gotta have green screen, I've gotta have a script, I've gotta have all of this stuff. And you don't really have to be that complicated. You can just get on camera, talk about a topic that you know, right? You know, you know indoor air quality, you, if you're HVAC. You know, you know the reasons an HVAC system breaks down. You know the benefits of a, a smart thermostat versus a, an analog thermostat, right? So you know about drain cleaning and trenchless. So, the things you know, there's no reason you can't get on video, speak to it just like you would a customer and create some great content that you can leverage like I'm gonna show you that will help you stand out, that will help you resonate, that will help you generate better results online. So the other way is to, is to be a little bit more produced with it and really kind of think through your shots and have a company like ours or Swift Media come out and shoot it for you. So some of the shots I'm gonna recommend you get on video, you can get these in picture as well, but you always wanna try and get the team shot. Like if you've got two trucks or you've got 70 trucks, it's an impressive thing to see the real trucks and the real team. So I always like to get a video of the team in a, in a stacked order, kind of like waving at the camera or like, we look forward to serving you. That's a great end cap and, a, and in some cases a front cap to a lot of your videos. Um, the caravan shot, so if you've got your trucks, if you can get the moving image of the trucks going down the road is a great shot. You know, you include that in any of your videos at the beginning or the end. It kind of shows, look, we're here to serve you. We're going to show up on time. It creates that professional feeling. Uh, the shots in the field, right? You know, I didn't have images of this stuff, but if we play back one of those videos, you'll see the clips, right? It's the it's the, the team driving down the field. It's the dispatch at the office answering the phone with a smile on their face. It's the technician driving up to the home, putting booties on before he comes to the door, knocking, coming in, sitting down with the homeowner and shaking their hand, uh, like kind of like looking at the problem, either the water heater or the sink. Um, and then 
Shots of the technician doing what it is that they do. Here's a, a duct cleaning, shot of the technician in an air conditioning system, shot of the, uh, of the, uh, t- the technician uh, tweaking an air con- uh, uh, a thermostat. You, know, you want to get a library of shots that you can put as B-roll, which you call behind the, you know, the, the footage that goes behind the audio, the, the things that you say on camera. So that's a little higher tech. If you want to go higher tech, um, you can get those shots yourself. You can hire a company to do it, uh, but you don't have to, right? You can just stand in front of your truck and speak to a topic, and it can be extremely effective and extremely powerful as well. So how can you create these types of videos with the technology you already have? Remember, you don't have to hire a high-end production crew. You can use your iPhone or your Android phone. Most of them have better video cameras than we, we used to have 10 or 15 years ago. So you have what you need there, and then you can edit them directly on YouTube. Believe it or not, you can take a video with all kinds of weird stuff going on, upload it inside YouTube, and clip out the errors, clip out the parts that you don't like, and wind up on YouTube with a pretty nice video. Um, if, you're, if you're wanting to be a little bit more creative, though, you can use a software like iMovie or Movie Maker. Um, and another thing I didn't put on slides, but it's a, it's a pretty good option, is Fiverr.com, F-I-V-E-R-R.com. Um, it's a like almost an infinite supply of people that are willing to do things for five bucks. So you could record a video, hire somebody on Fiverr to edit it for you, and have a pretty decent video that you can use right out of the gates. So just some ideas and tactics where you can get these videos done. And I just want to show you an example of some videos that can be that were done by a plumbing company with his tech actually just filming it from an Android phone. So I'm going to pull this up. Again, this is just an example. So I showed you some higher produced videos, but I also want to show you some more basic options. So this is Shamrock Plumbing in Orlando. So how many of you could do that? Right, I want to hear from you guys in chat. We got a lot. We got almost 100 people with us right now. So um, I want to hear from you. This is not a uh, rhetorical. How many of you believe you could put on your logo shirt, you can stand in front of your truck or trucks, and then you could have your spouse, a significant other, a, a member of the staff, hold the camera and have you speak to a particular topic? I want to hear in the, either the question box or in the comments box, do you think you could do this? Arkin Hill says, for sure. Debbie says, yep. Come on, guys. Let's be, let's be interactive. I know we got a lot more than this. All right, good. Yes, we can do it. Uh, Greg B says, yes, easy. Yep, absolutely, no doubt. Yes, we can do it. Awesome. Okay, so great. Thank you, guys. I just wanted to make sure, you know, this doesn't have to be super complicated. And this is a, a perfect example of what I'm talking about. So here's Shamrock Plumbing. I want you to see a couple things. First of all, I want you to see 14,000 views. So you don't feel like you're going to get 14,000 views overnight. This has been up for quite some time. But there's people seeing this video on YouTube and on their website. So don't feel like you're going to create videos in a vacuum. I created all of the reasons for you to create videos, right? Because it's going to help with conversion. It's going to help with your SEO efforts. And it's going to, it's going to be seen. So this isn't a wasted it isn't a wasted effort, and it doesn't have to be super duper hard. It can be something that is as simple as, what are you going to talk about? Stand in front of your truck, speak to that for a couple minutes, and then either throw it up on Fiverr and have it edited, or get with a company that can help you do this and, and create good content. So here's the type of video I want you to create. Right Here's specifically. I want you to create an intro video for your website. I think every plumbing and HVAC company should have an intro video that is the owner of the company, not a cartoon character necessarily, not a um, you know a stock actor, but the owner. Say, hey, welcome to XYZ Company. 
you know, if you're on this page, you're probably having some issues with whatever, your plumbing, your HVAC, you've come to the right place. You know, here at this company, we specialize in these types of services and we can help, right? When you call us, you can count on, we're gonna answer the phone live, we're gonna show up to your house on time, we're gonna price you correctly, we're not gonna overcharge, and we're gonna stand by our work. Like, you can count on the fact that when you hire us, if something goes wrong, we'll be there for you. So give us a call today at this number. Feel free to browse around our website, look at some examples of some of the jobs we do, the services we provide. If you have questions, feel free to reach out via chat or the contact box, and we'll look forward to talking with you soon. Right? Just imagine how much better experience that is for your prospect. This company, this, this individual is looking for a plumber, looking for an HVAC company, looking for an electrician. Um, you know, they, they're, they've got a lot of options. They don't know anybody yet. Otherwise, they would have called them. Um, and they, they find you and you're there and you're speaking to them and you're greeting them and you're explaining why you versus the competition. Don't you think that improves the probability that they're going to want to do business with you versus the competition? I think the answer is a resounding yes. And this doesn't have to be highly produced. Just a simple video like you just saw Mark from Shamrock Plumbing. That's what I want you to do. At a bare minimum, like do at least that. Right, do at least a welcome video. Right, so that's that's phase one. Uh, phase two, I'd love for you to have videos of each of your main services. Right, so if you're a plumber, that's drain cleaning and water heaters and tank lists and trenchless sewer replacement and remodeling if, if that's a service. HVAC, that's AC repair, heating repair, furnace installation, air conditioning installation, maybe duct cleaning. Think of the main services and the service pages on your website, right? you should have pages for all these different things. I'd love for you to have a video for each. So when someone lands on the drain cleaning page, they've got a video and it's not your welcome video, it's say, hey, welcome to our website. You know, if you're having an issue with your drains, you're at the right place. Right here at XYZ Company, we specialize in drain cleaning. We've got all the equipment, right? And here's why people choose us for their drain needs. And here's what you can expect when you call us. So. That's the next level, have videos for each of the different services that you provide. And then make sure you get videos for the frequently asked questions that you get. You know, one of the big trends in online marketing right now is the shift towards voice search. Uh, Google's really into it, Amazon's really into it, Facebook is getting more and more into it. You've got the, the voice search built right into, your, uh, right into your Siri on your iPhone. You've got, I've got a, a voice search system on my desk the Alexa view, and I speak to it. I don't, not as much as I would have thought I would, but anyways, people are voice searching, and what, what they're, ver they're searching a lot of times is is based on questions, and getting ranked in, in organic search more and more is about answering questions. So if you can create videos about each of the major questions somebody asks on a consistent basis, and then import and upload them to the appropriate pages on your site, that has, that has a huge impact. So those are the three types of videos I'd really encourage all of you to do. Website welcome, videos for each of your services, frequently asked question videos. And then as a bonus, if you have the wherewithal, this can be extremely powerful. Uh, testimonial videos, so social proof is powerful, people writing reviews about you online. If you can get a couple really happy customers and you can shoot a quick video, hey, tell me about your experience. And then you just say, hey, you know what, I use Tom Jones Plumbing because my, my pipe was leaking, they answered the phone, they came out right away, they were awesome, and you upload those types of videos, amazing, powerful stuff. Um, shots of your guys at work and, and explaining what they're doing, right? So, hey, I'm here on the job, we're doing an excavation project, and you know the reason we're doing this is this. That's more just kind of informational, it's, it's not gonna have the same conversion impact, but it, it has a higher probability of actually ranking in, um, in Google search as well as YouTube search. Um, and then two cool videos that I'd like to see more and more plumbing companies get involved in plumbing and HVAC, pre-dispatch video. So right now with, with like Service Titan and some of the plugins that you can purchase, um, we're sending dispatch videos. Hey, Tom Jones is on his way. How cool would it be if you had a video that said, hey, just wanted to give you a heads up, we're really excited about working with you. So they've, they've booked the job and now you're the owner on, on camera saying, hey, we've booked the job. Our technician's on the way. Here's what you can expect. Right? He's going to show up on time. He's going to come in with clean boots. And if, if for whatever reason he doesn't do what you're expecting, I'd like you to reach out to me and let me know because I'm super excited. We take what we do very seriously, and we want to provide a world-class experience. So I, I'd, I'd love to see some of you guys create that kind of video that goes out pre, 
pre uh, pre dispatch, and then also uh, post service, right? So we're all sending these emails after the service call that says, "Hey, thanks for your business. Would love it if you write us a review," and then a link to go to Google and Angie's list, and and that's that's best practice. You should do that. But I'd, I I think it'd be great if a couple of us recorded a video as the owner, and then just maybe even the team kind of standing there. So imagine this shot. You've got the owner in the front. You've got the team behind, and you know, say, hey, thanks so much for your business. We're so excited. We hope you had a great experience. You know, if you didn't for some reason, please, you know, you can click link below and you'll get direct access to me. Let me know what went wrong. But if you had a great experience, this whole team thrives on creating world class experience. We really want to be the best plumbing HVAC home service company in the area, and we'd love it if you take a minute to write us a review. We meet on a weekly basis to review the good feedback that we're getting from our happy customers, and we'd love you to be our next positive testimonial. Click the button below to write a review on one of those sites. So I'd love to see you create a video like that um, that goes out after every service call. Just think about how that would kind of distinguish you versus the competition and give you a competitive edge. So just some ideas from bonus, like some extra things you can do once you've got the, the basic framework laid out with your, your video stuff. So a couple tactics on uh, what to say. Again, be natural, be authentic, and, and be yourself. You want to be real. You don't want to sound too scanned, canned, or scripted. But you know these five bullets can be used in almost any video that you shoot, right? If you're watching this video, you're probably having an issue with X, whatever, your drains, your water heater, your air conditioning system. And they talk a little bit about the frustration. It can be really frustrating when your water heater stops working because you don't have consistent cold water and your kids want to take a hot shower or a hot bath and it can be super frustrating. Well, here at our company, Tom Jones Plumbing, Tom Jones Air Conditioning, we specialize in air conditioning repair, right? And can get your water heater system working as quickly as possible. When you call us, you can expect, and I really want you to kind of drill down on the bullets that are most important to that customer. You can expect a live answer. You can expect same day service. You can expect us to show up on time. You can expect us to leave your home cleaner than when you left than when we came in. So call us today at 555 whatever your phone number is. So pretty much any video that I'm suggesting that you do kind of falls into that bucket. And I've got some scripts if you want shoot me an email. I've got some made scripts that we can we can share with you to to help flesh this out if you're serious about making these videos, committed to doing it. Um, I want to help and I want to serve. So I, I've got some boilerplate type stuff that I, I can share with you. But this framework works really well, right? Talk about the issue they're having, how annoying it is, the fact that your company is here to help, and what they can expect when they contact you, and then the call to action. Great framework for any video that you ever want to use. So where do we post these videos? How do we leverage them once they're done? Um, you should all have a YouTube channel. If you don't, you would set one up at youtube.com. And there you can upload all of your videos. And it's completely free. Google lets you put your videos up there. You can name them, you can tag them, and then you can embed them. Um, you want to name them intelligent. I'll talk a little bit about some best practices on naming your videos to get the most bang for the energy. But that's my main place. I would say put the videos up on YouTube natively, and then also upload them to Facebook. You know, Facebook is one of the most, um, it's probably the second most watched video site on the internet. You don't think of Facebook as a as a video hub, but um, but it is. Upload your videos directly to Facebook. One of the benefits of loading them into Facebook is that they'll show up autoplay in your in your prospects feeds or in your in your customers feeds. So as they're browsing on their mobile phone at their kids uh, you know kids pictures and whatever else they're looking at, if they've liked you in the past, your video can autoplay, and it's obviously a lot more interesting to see an autoplay than than text. And so definitely upload them into your, your Facebook business page as well. A couple best practices when uploading to, to YouTube. First of all, always include the, the city service combination at the front, not just your company name. So if your company is uh, Bob's Plumbing, Heating, and Air, don't name the video Bob's Plumbing, Heating, and Air. Name it, you know, Dal if you're in Dallas, Dallas Air Conditioning Installation or Dallas Plumbing and Air Conditioning Services dash Bob's Plumbing Heating and Air. So get the city and the service, especially as you start to get to the service specific um, videos. Definitely get the city and the service in there. 
mistake I see a lot of times is you did a trenchless video and you call it trenchless installation and repair. That's the name of the video. And so you haven't given Google any geographic context. So the chances of that showing up for Dallas trenchless sewer repair is, is slim because you didn't name it that way. So definitely pay attention to how you name it. Um, add the keywords in as tags um, and, and your company name in as a tag. In your description, make sure that you have the HTTP colon slash slash um, in the description. That way people can click it right from the video. I'll show some visual, visuals of this. And then make sure that there's an active avatar with your company logo. So here's what I mean. You know, when you get into your channel, you have the ability to name it. Name it something with a city modifier. Um, upload an image avatar. Get your, you know, city plus service into the, into the, the descriptions. And uh, make sure that you add name, address, phone number type details in the, um, in, the, in the description. That way you can get that as a, as a citation, which is really, really valuable. So this is what I'm talking about when you upload your video. Um, make sure that you've typed the, the city name plus the service. That way you give Google, this is where you would type that information. In the description, make sure you've got this HTTP colon slash slash before the URL. Don't always link to your homepage. Sometimes link to the drain page or to link to the water heater page. Make sure that the, what you're linking to is, um, is relevant to what that video is about. That way you're passing context back and forth. And then in tags, you know, use, use your keywords in the tags. And I just, you know, I don't want to get over technical. Some of you guys' eyes are probably rolling into the back of your skull. But sometimes just seeing these types of things come up, you think, oh, man, I didn't even think about the fact that I could name these videos in a way that would make it more relevant or more probable to rank. So I don't expect you guys to like magically remember this or even probably to do it yourself. But when you do have the assistant or when you do have that third party company doing it, you can go back and double check. Hey, did, did we add our keywords into that, into that title tag? And then from there, you can embed these videos onto your site. So in order to do that, you just grab the, the, the video itself. Um, Google gives you what they call an embed code, just a little piece of code, and then you can paste that into the code on your site. And that's how you get your video embedded onto the pages of the site. So I want to pull something up real quick. So in, in recap, my recap slide got, got erased, but I'll come up here. In recap, here's what we've discovered. Um, why video marketing is important. Uh, how to put a marketing strategy in place, the types of videos to create, um, how to create them, whether it's high tech or low tech, and then what to do with them once they're shot, right? How to get them up on YouTube, how to get them into the social media sphere, how to leverage them so that you get more traffic, so that you get better conversion, and so that you can really maximize your results online. So I'd love to open it up to see if you guys have any questions at this point about video, about anything that I covered. And... Um, and then we can we can take it from there. So Chris says, would you create multiple videos for each of the cities that you serve? Um, you could. You just have to be creative because what you're going to wind up with is a lot of duplicate style videos. So like, oh, okay, I've got a video for Dallas, and then I've got a video for Plano, and then I've got a video for um, whatever. Um, Unless it's unique and you can see a kind of kind of spin it in an interesting way, um, I think it might wind up getting a little bit spammy. So I would I would shy against that a little bit. Excellent. Well, if you have questions, I'm here. I hope you guys got some value from today's session. We talked all about video, how to leverage video. Um, if you'd like to talk with us about your internet marketing strategy as a whole, that's what we do, right? Our business focuses on helping plumbing HVAC companies uh, implement online marketing strategies to generate more leads, more sales, uh, better presence online. And uh, we, we try and execute this entire online digital dominance method, right? From getting a website set up in a way that's going to convert all the way through to PPC, retargeting, paid online directories to truly maximize your lead flow online. So if you'd like to talk with us, we'd love the opportunity to chat. You can call us at 866-610-4647. Uh, if you'd like to schedule a, a strategy session or what we call a lead flow acceleration session where we'll look at your website, we'll look at your online marketing strategy as it sits today, help you identify what you can do to, to drastically accelerate the number of leads that you're getting online. Uh, we do that completely free of charge. So I've added a link there. If you want to schedule it, 
you'll get to a page, we'll get some details about you and your company and where you're at. Um, and if it's a fit, you'll land on a page where you can schedule that, that strategy session or that lead flow acceleration session. I'm gonna look at the chat box one more time, see if I missed anything. Um, Greg says, does it make sense to post your, your video content to every platform other than Facebook and YouTube? So it's, it's a good question. You could, definitely, um, you could definitely leverage it. There's only so many other platforms out there, but for instance, you could take your video and put it up on Vimeo. You could take it and put it up on a site called Meta Cafe. Um, I used to be firmly a believer in getting it into like all of these different sites. Um, now I feel like really the best places are, are Facebook and, and YouTube, and then sharing them out to those other places so they get more eyeballs on those main sites. Uh, however, and if you've got the extra bandwidth and you've got someone that can just go out and load it up on those sites, it certainly it certainly doesn't uh, doesn't hurt. Can they be uploaded into GMB? They used to be able to load videos directly into Google My Business. They've been they've been changing what you can put in there. Uh, right now, you can only put images. But uh, when and if they do put video back in, I, I think it would be good to have your videos, especially like in GMB, which is Google My Business. Um, you'd be, you know, you'd want to have your, your really quality, like, Hey, here's our company. Here's who we are. Here's why people choose us type videos and not get too abstract with the videos in, in a, in a place like that. All right. Do you recommend keeping these videos at a certain length or under a certain amount of time? Not necessarily. I mean, really best, especially as it relates to, to people on Facebook and kind of scrolling through their feed like three to five minutes is a good sweet spot. Even a little bit less than that can be great. Um, if it's just an information video, if it's like a website welcome, um, I like to try and keep it to a minute to a minute and a half because you know, nobody wants to watch a, an hour long dissertation about your company. They just want a quick, okay, cool. Here's who you are. Here's why people serve. Uh, here's why people choose you. Um, but when it comes to the deeper information, like how to choose a contractor, um, you know, why trenchless versus trenched. Um, you can go as long as you need to in order to get the message across, in order to really answer their questions and give them the information they, they need. So Jenna, great, great question. Thank you for asking that. Awesome. So I'm not seeing any other questions. Uh, thank you guys so much for joining me on today's session. Um, I, I'm, glad, I'm glad you got value from it. I'm here to answer questions that you might have. So feel free to shoot me an email or a message if you have any follow-up questions. And if you'd like to schedule a strategy session with us, just go to plumberseo.net slash schedule and keep your eyes peeled. We're going to be doing more sessions like this on the, the topics in the digital dominance method. So um, stay tuned and we'll talk to you again soon.